We got the keys! Finally, I can get out of this town! Yep, and you earned it too. Whenever you're ready, just come see me and I'll take you on out of here. It might just get you to that church on time after all. Alright. Time to go sleeps. And then we can decide what to do tomorrow. Yeah, let's just leave. I know we don't have as much money as we need. And I know that we could grind in the boxing club, but there's also another way to make money after we get to a place. So we're gonna do that. But, just to be safe, I will save. And then I'll save in different places after this. Maybe if I care enough. Let's just leave. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. Watch. Just watch. Shh. Well, baby girl, I guess we're all set to get you to San Verdano. Car's all ready for you, whatever you need. Unless, of course, you wanted to stick around for a bit. You want to take me to San Verdano? It's time to kiss this town goodbye. Let's hit the road, Mark. We got road to burn. That's what I wanted to hear. Let's go. That backdrop, though. It's not even a road that we're driving on. It's just mountains. San Verdano. Oh, we made it, fam. Well, I guess this is it, baby girl. Here at last and gone so soon. I really enjoyed getting to see you again, you know? A big part of me never thought I'd get to see you all grown up, but I got more than I could ask for. It's really been a pleasure, Robin. Yeah, it was fun getting to know you, too. Maybe I'll stop by Salt City sometime in the future or something. Bless you, baby girl. You know you've always got a place to stay with old Mark. I guess this is where we part for now, though, ain't it? Yeah, it seems that way. Thanks again for everything. Yeah, well, it's the least I could do. You've turned into such a fine young lady. It does me a world of good knowing you had some sort of hand in that. You take care of yourself, alright? You too, Mark. Oh, one more thing before I go. What's that? Stay true to who you are, whoever you think that is. Nothing's more important in this world or the next. Whatever comes your way, just try and be as honest with yourself as you can. Maybe God will be watching, maybe not. That ain't for any of us to say for certain. From my own mistakes, though, I know that there's no escaping your past. So try to be decent in the present, alright? Yeah, I understand. Alright then, baby girl, it's time I shuffled off and let you get on. Don't forget, Jesus loves you. Zoom, zoom. Well, doesn't this place look familiar? Should I mow the grass? <laughs> I remember this place like it was yesterday. Yep. There's no lawnmower, though, so I guess we're not mowing any grass. Also, why didn't we go in the front door? Just thought, Robin. Casey? Robin? You know, I've got to say I'm a little surprised you're actually here. I don't remember seeing your name on the seating arrangement for the reception. Well, I'm as surprised as anyone I was invited, all things considered. You were invited, weren't you? Yeah, of course, I got the invitation and everything. You show Casey your wedding invitation. Came in the mail, just like everyone else's. Huh, how about that? Where well, I never mentioned you'd be coming. Or maybe I'm just not as sharp as I used to be. Either way, I wasn't about to let you come all this way and stay in a motel or something. Yeah, thanks for that. I'm not putting you out, am I? Not at all. Since Rin moved out, I've had the place all to myself. It's a funny thing, though, being on my own now. While you two were together, I couldn't wait for you to get, head up, get out of my hair. Now that I finally got my privacy back, I kind of miss having people around the house. Guess the grass is always greener, huh? Yeah, I guess sometimes it's true. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. It's alright. Um... We're not over it, though. Hold on. I'll be fine. I'll be fine, as long as Rin's happy. 
No sense getting all worked up about it now, right? All that matters now is that things are the way she wants. I suppose that's true, as long as it's true. What do you mean by that? No, nothing really. Just, you know how Ren and I are. We love each other a great deal, but we barely talk. I never did ask what happened between you two, why it all ended. It's one of those things that's always made me feel like a bit of a failure as a mother. If it's too much to talk about, you don't have to. I just wish I knew what happened between you two. I mean, you seem so happy together, it's hard to imagine why it didn't work. Well, I guess things aren't always as good as they seem from the outside. Truth be told, it's kind of snuck up on me too. For lack of a better way to put it, who dumped who? Yeah, I was worried you'd ask that. I was the one who dumped her. Worst mistake of my life. I've regretted it every day since, and if I could undo it, I would. Why, though? What made you want to leave her? Well, if there was a simple way to put it... Honestly, I don't think I was ever truly worthy of the relationship in the first place. She was too good for me. I knew I was holding her back like an anchor. Maybe I thought she'd be better off without me. I left her because I don't deserve having someone like that in my life. Well, for what it's worth, Ren hasn't been the same since you two split. Maybe that sort of breakup changes a person, maybe she's just unhappy. All I know is that I'm not so sure everything's as good as it could be for her. Don't get me wrong for a minute, Ren couldn't pick a more fantastic person to marry. I just remember her being a lot happier while with you. But then again, this is what she wants, so don't get any ideas, alright? Doesn't matter what I say, she's made her choice. Look, I've gotta go get fitted for my dress. I hate doing this stuff, but I guess I shouldn't put it off any longer. You're welcome to stay here, there's no problem about that. The bedroom's yours if you want it. What about Ren? Ah, with all the money they've been making, they went and got an apartment closer to downtown. They stop by from time to time, but I've got the place mostly to myself these days. Make yourself at home while you're here, but don't eat all the leftovers, alright? Understood! I brought my own food this time. Do me a favor and make sure you lock up the place before you go. Last thing I need is another break-in. Can't afford to keep replacing all my stuff. Oh, that's my ride. See you soon, Robin. Well. You know what I need? A shower. I haven't showered in ages. As in, never in the game have I showered once. I guess I could take a shower. This might help me clear my mind. Finish the shower, you weirdo. I feel better already. Where does the time go? I guess I was in there longer than I thought. <coughs> oh. Do I need to eat? Might as well. Nom 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 nom. I've eaten. We're good at this game. I should get some sleep, I guess. You know, it's really coming along quite well. At first I was worried you might not be able to do it alone, but look how far you've come. I'm really proud of you, babe. What's the matter? Are you okay? You don't need to patronize me, you know? It's junk. None of it's good yet. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I don't need you pretending. Pretending? I'm not. Really, I'm not. Look, everyone feels like this about their own work. You just have to trust what I'm telling you and believe in yourself. I really don't want to hear it right now, Ren. Please, not tonight. Where's all this coming from? Did I do something wrong? You're an angel for not seeing it. Or maybe you do and are just too good to do anything about it. Either way, I just, I just can't do it anymore. What are you talking about, Robin? I'm talking about us, you and me. You've got so much going for you and so much ahead in your life. Me, I've, I've got nothing at all. You've got your work, which is going to be great. You've got a lot to look forward to once you finish. Most importantly, you've got me. I love you, Robin. I know, that's the problem. You fell in love with a reject, an anchor. 
I mean, here you are wasting your time with me when there's so much else you could be doing. You deserve someone as fantastic as you, someone who's going to push you to achieve everything you want. I want you to be happy. I want you to have a good life. Truthfully, as much as it hurts, I know you won't get that with me. No, you can't say that. It's not true, Robin. You're wonderful, and I want you. Why do you think so low of yourself? Don't you see what I see? Life may not be perfect, but you always try, and that's what I love. Well, then maybe I'm done trying. I'm not worthy of this. Any of it. Every day it feels like I'm drowning and gripping your ankles, the only thing keeping me from sinking further. But it'll never pull me to shore, it just delays the inevitable. I'd rather just let go now than take you with me. So this is it, huh? After all we've been through together? After all we thought we'd become? It just ends here, like this? You're a real piece of work, Robin. You... I... I can't even talk. Say something, damn it! What's left to say but goodbye? Well, wasn't that dramatic as fuck? One sec. Yeah, we're good. If only it were just a dream. Whatever. Let's go. It'll be fine. Hey, come out here! I'm out on the balcony! Ren? Robin? What's going on? Yeah, how's it going? No, I mean, what are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? I got this wedding invitation, so I came. Look, see? You gave Ren the wedding invitation. I don't know how to tell you this, Robin. You weren't invited. I don't know how you got this. Wait, what? I just spent the last month breaking my back to get here. What do you mean I wasn't invited? Look, I thought about inviting you at one point, but then, you know... I just didn't want to give you the wrong idea or anything, so I took you off the invite list. I didn't want you thinking that I wasn't completely over you already. Plus, I mean, how awkward that would that be for you? Sitting in the pews watching me marry someone else? You've gotta be kidding me. After all I went through getting here. Fine, whatever. I'll get out of here if you don't want me here. Sorry to bother you and everything. Oh, Robin. I want to know one thing, though. Something doesn't add up. If you were removed me from the invite list, how the hell did I get that invitation? I invited her! You piece of shit. How's it going, Robin? Wait, what? You added people to the guest list without telling me? Not people, person. I couldn't get married without my best friend present. It's good to see you. Come here. It's, uh, good to see you too, Sam. Sam, I can't believe you'd do this to me. I explicitly told you that Robin wasn't a cop. Oh, come on now. We're all adults here, aren't we? That's debatable. I'm sorry, Rin, but it had to be done. I, it just wouldn't feel right getting married without Robin there. Well, fine, whatever. It's not like I can ask you to go back home now or anything. I mean, you came all this way, and I guess if Sam invited you... I'm glad you're here, Robin. I've gotta go, I'll see you later, alright? Robin is your responsibility now, you got that? Yes, dear. It's good to see you, Robin, it really is. Yeah, I guess it's good to see you too. Come on, why don't we head inside and get some breakfast? I'll meet you downstairs. You piece of shit, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Uh, what? Who said that? Not me. I'm not killing anybody, I swear. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. I'm not doing it yet. I'm gonna strangle you with your own hair! I mean, what? It's pancakes and sausages! Probably not the best meal to eat before it fitting, but what you gonna do? Fitting? Yeah, I'm supposed to get be getting my wedding dress fitted, but I haven't even picked a style yet. Aren't you cutting it a little close for that kind of decision? Yeah, but you know me. I'm terrible at making decisions. I always freeze up and need you to do it for me. 
Yeah, that's a good way of solving this. I'll just let you pick. You want me to pick your wedding dress for you? Yeah, just hold on a sec. Robin's like, oh my god. <laughs> Here, take a look at this! They're not cheap, but damn do they look good! Jesus, you're right, they are pricey. Which is why I need your help. I don't want to blow all this money and wind up looking bad. You pick one and I'll go with it, then I don't have to think about it anymore. You really want me to pick? Yeah, of course, I trust you! Well, if you really want me to pick, go for the white one. Because it's the worst looking one. I think the white one's best for you. Keep it classy, keep it traditional. It's a little by the book, but that's a good fit for you. You really think I should go with white, huh? No, <laughs> you better not show up matching me or I'm gonna be pissed. Well, in that case, go for it. I think it'll look great. Thanks, Robin. This is gonna be awesome. I've never had custom clothes before. I think I'm gonna wear it during the entire trip. Trip? Oh, you should definitely come with us. Excuse me? Tonight, we're going to fly out to the spinning coin in Las Vargas. We've got rooms blo book blocked, booked already, and everything. It's gonna be one hell of a bachelorette party. Bachelorette party, huh? We're gonna going all out. It's gonna be a blast. Shows, gambling, and getting pissed drunk. You have to come. I absolutely insist. You know, that does sound like a pretty good time, but I'm pretty broke right now. I took buses to get here. I don't think I've got cash for a flight. Oh, don't worry about that. I'll cover the expense, don't sweat it. Now how the hell can you afford that? Oh, my publishers agreed to foot the bill for the entire party. Apparently they're friends with the casino manager or something, they got a good deal. Whatever the case, it's all been taken care of, so there's no reason not to come. Did you say... publisher? You got a deal? Yeah, I did! I mean, we just signed a little while ago, so it's still sinking in. Holy shit though, the dream's finally coming true, I tell you. Oh, I didn't mean to... Look, just come with us and I promise you'll have such a good time you'll forget about everything. I mean, it'll be just like old times with you and me tearing it up. It wouldn't feel right without you there, I need you. We did always talk about going to Las Vargas one day. I just never figured it'd be because you and Ren were getting married. Come on, don't even think about that. This is just about you and me, I've missed you. You really want me to come to your bachelorette party, huh? Okay, okay, wait. Hold on. If you don't go... Sam dies. And that's bad. That's a bad ending. As much as I've talked about killing her, we cannot do it. At this moment. So we have to go. Alright, I'll come. I mean, how many times am I gonna get an all-expense-paid trip to Las Vargas? Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about! This is gonna be the best, just you wait. The limo will be here tonight, so take us to the airport to take us to the airport, so be ready to go after dinner. A limo? <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. Crap, it's my ride to the fitting. We'll catch up tonight on our way to the airport, alright? Okay, I really gotta go. See ya. Okay. Goodbye. Huh. Wait just one sec. Oh. Let's go back to our room and see what's new in there. Because drama! <laughs> <laughs> 